Welcome guys. This is Technology Made Basic. I'm making a video today to show you how to uh, back up your system in Windows 7, Windows Vista, and Windows XP. Uh, backup is very, very important uh, just in case your hard drive or something that you have your data stored on you know, fails or you have an error in your system that you can't get rid of or your computer doesn't boot. If you have a backup or a system image of your computer, uh, then you're set to go to go ahead and fix those issues. So we're going to go ahead and click on the start button. Right now we're starting with our Windows 7 computer. We're going to go to all programs and under the maintenance we're going to click backup and restore. And this is what gives us the options under Windows 7 where we can create a system image. Uh, basically what a system image does is, is uh, it contains a copy of your entire operating system which includes your program, system settings, and files. So if you want to do an entire full backup of everything, uh, that's what the system image would do. I also suggest if you're going to create a system image to create a system repair disk. Um, that would come in handy in the case that your hard drive uh, failed physically and you need to install a new hard drive on your computer. You can boot using the system repair disk and uh, access your system image to go ahead and image that new hard drive with the exact copy of the way your computer looked. Uh, but if you're just looking to do a backup, what we'll do is create, uh, click on Setup Backup, and it's going to pull up the uh, backup utility. And the backup is just what we're doing right now is just backing up individual uh, files and folders on our computer. Uh, this is something you definitely also want to do is uh, keep a backup of your information, especially if it's critical to you and it's going to choose the backup devices that are available to us and we're going to go ahead and choose our external hard drive that we're backing it up to click next and I don't want Windows to uh, choose what I'm going to back up I'm going to click let me choose hit next and uh, what I want to back up specifically is the uh, C drive users so I don't want to back up specific folders. I'm going to go to my specific profile under the users. And I only want to back up, uh, like I said, specific folders. I don't want to back up everything. And also what's important here on this screen is if you don't want to create a system image now, uh, go ahead and make sure to uncheck this uh, because this is going to include a system image, which is going to take up a lot more of your uh, backup space. So I chose I've chosen just the specific folders I want to back up on my computer. I hit next. And right here I can also change the schedule of how often I want my computer to back up. And you can either do it weekly, daily, or monthly. In my case, my information doesn't change that often. It's not that critical to me, so I'm just going to do monthly. You can choose what day you want to do it on and the time. Um, or you can uncheck this because you don't want to run the backup on a schedule. They recommend to do it, but if you don't want to do it, you can just uncheck it. That way your computer's not constantly prompting you. But if you're somebody that doesn't remember to back up, make sure to keep that checked. Hit OK. And we can go ahead and save the settings and run backup. So that's how you uh, do the backup. And if you want to restore your, back restore your files uh, from a backup, you can click where it says select another backup to restore files from and but like I said uh, to create a repair disk we go ahead and click here where it says repair disk it's gonna have us choose our uh, optical drive we'll go ahead and pop in a CD or DVD in there and hit create disk and it's that simple that's it, it just takes a couple minutes and the system image we'll go ahead and click on that what's gonna do it's gonna look again for a place to uh, put your backup and this the system image is different from a backup because this is an entire copy of everything including the operating system itself which in this case is Windows 7. Um, you can use DVDs but usually a system image is very large. Uh, if you're using dual layer DVDs this may be an option for you. In this case we're just going to use our external hard drive. Click next. Uh, we want the uh, C drive along with that J drive backed up. Click next. And if I hit start backup it's going to go ahead and create that image for me. Uh, you may have less trouble also if you put it on DVD. Sometimes uh, when you're using the system repair disk, you boot into it and you try to cr you try to back up from a system image, you may get an error. Uh, but using the DVD option may actually eliminate that for you. Uh, so that's how you back up your system in Windows 7. You just go ahead and uh, create set backup. 
uh, and then after that you can set it to uh, back up on specific dates or you can just back it up manually yourself by unchecking uh, that box, that checkbox. And it's also important uh, if you want to create a system image, create a system repair disk so you can boot into, especially if you're adding a new hard drive uh, because your hard drive completely failed. So now we're going to go into our uh, Windows Vista machine. And it's going to be practically the same way in Windows Vista. You click the Start button, go to All Programs, go to the Maintenance folder, click Backup and Restore Center. And here we are. If you just want to back up your files, you just click Backup Files. And uh, I don't have my external hard drive mounted right now, but we'll go ahead and do that real quick. We'll wait for the uh, hard drive to get mounted. That way, at least it gives us an option to back up onto. There we are. So go back to the Start menu, All Programs, Maintenance, Backup and Restore Center. Click Backup Files. There's the uh, hard drive we want to back up to. We click Next. And here we, you can check and uncheck the specific files and folders that you want to back up. Hit Next. Here's where you can, it's a little bit different than Windows 7, but here's where you can set up uh, the time that you want to back up. You can save the settings and start backup. And then if you wanted to create a system image, um, you click here where it says Backup Computer. Hit Next and start backup. So it's that easy to create a system image and also to create a backup of your individual files. If you ever want to restore those files that you just backed up, you can click over here where it says restore files. Or if you want to restore the image, you just click over here where it says restore computer. Uh, so it's very simple in Windows 7 and Windows Vista. It's a little bit different in Windows XP. So what we'll do is uh, we'll jump off our uh, Vista machine and we're going to go to our XP machine. And in XP, it's a little bit different. Um, you can't really create a repair disk in XP. Well, you can, but they're not the uh, optical. They're not the uh, CD, DVD media that you're thinking about. They're actually floppy disks that it has you uh, try to create. Ouch, that was kind of loud. I don't know why I have that full, full blast right now. Kind of hurt my ears a little bit. But anyways, once we're in our uh, Vista system, or not our Vista, our Windows XP system, sorry, we'll go ahead and click All Programs, go under Accessories, go under System Tools. So as you can see, it's, a, it's located under a different location, whereas uh, in Vista and Windows 7, it was, it was located under the Maintenance folder. This time it's, created, it's uh, located under the Accessories, System Tools, and then click Backup. You can go ahead and start the wizard or you can go into advanced mode. Click next. You want to back up your files, you don't want to restore them. Click next. Here's where it gives you the options where you can do my documents and settings. Uh, you can do everyone's documents and settings or, or all information on this computer which does the image. Um, this creates a system recovery disk and as you can see it's disk with a K because it's referring to a floppy disk. And this just in case of a uh, system failure or you can just say let me choose and here under the uh, my documents I can go ahead check that hit next Whoops. and it's gonna ask me where do I want to back it up to what do I want to name it hit next and that'll back everything up um, but just in case like I said since you're not able to create a uh, repair disk on a CD DVD and most people don't have floppy drives this day. What you can use is there's a uh, software out there for free that's available to any uh, private home user. It's called uh, Drive Image XML. It's 
we're going to go ahead and open up that software and this is what it looks like this actually allows us to create a uh, an image by just going to backup choosing the C drive that's what we want to back up hit next and that's it if I hit the uh, next button it's going to go ahead and start uh, backing up um, but that will create a system image but you still need a CD or DVD media in order to mm -hmm. be able to um, boot into the utility just in case your hard drive completely failed so what we're going to do is we're going to navigate to their website which is www.runtime.org what we want to do is go to drive image XML and here is where it allows us to create a live CD so if we go ahead and download this and create a live CD which are just 600 megabytes you can put it on a on a normal uh, CD that would allow us to here's what it looks like actually once you create the live CD and boot to it it allows us to open up the utility that way we can take our image that we just created of Windows XP and say load it onto a different hard drive or boot it up to that same hard drive that maybe is no longer booting and we just need to restore it back uh, with that system image so those are just some of the uh, different options you have uh, like I said you don't have as many options in Windows XP because it's an older operating system so you can use this uh, free software uh, the private edition is free for anybody who's a home user if you're going to use it commercially there is a paid version uh, which is very good so I definitely suggest if you get multiple uh, user licenses with that one uh, but if you just need a simple uh, backup utility that does an image of your entire operating system and your files and programs and you want to create a CD to back it up onto and Windows XP you don't have that much of an option so you can use this software so basically what we went over is how to back up specific files and also how to create an image which are two different things an image is just the basically it's a copy of everything on your computer uh, so if you have a lot of sensitive data definitely recommend at least backing up your files uh, but doing a system image of your uh, computer is also definitely uh, recommended just in case your hard drive completely failed um, well basically that uh, hope you find this information helpful and that concludes this tutorial